my beautiful star seeds, light workers, soul fam, family and friends. So uh, this is uh, your weekly reading from June 13 to the 19th of 2022. I am clearing my desk, of course, uh, with the cards that I will be using, the crystals. There we go. And of course, some for you. I'm going to be clearing you and your surroundings. Always know that when you come into my readings, you are protected and you're safe and sound. There we go. I'll just leave this here for now. And I will take my ring, singing bowl. Take a deep breath in. And let's get started. Hello, my soul family, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from June 13th to the 19th of 2022. Now, let's see who's first in the reading. And we have Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius. So, anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't, then look at your other placements. Uh, you could look at your ascendant sign because sometimes you will be in your ascendant sign more than your sun sign in some of them in, in the time of the year. Also, look at your moon. It's about your emotions. Uh, you could look at Venus. That's about love and finances. And check out your north node as well for those of you that are on a spiritual path. Okay. Now, in the reading, take what's yours and let the rest go. Okay. And feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm talking about uh, someone else, but not you. Okay. Of course. And cuspers and of course, uh, cross watchers are welcome to the reading. So Aquarius, let's get started with your reading. Alrighty. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards here for you. And then I will give you a card from Cosmic Guidance. So you will get a card uh, from the cosmic guidance to see what is your message there and what is your affirmation of the week Aquarius okay let's look at the situation at hand what's crossing uh, what's crossing you and uh, the root Everybody's barking. Okay, Sandy. Okay, Sandy. We got justice. What's crossing you is the Queen of Pentacles. Sandy, in the root, you got the Knight of, Pen uh, Knight of Cups. In the recent past, till now, in the current energy. Shh. Sandy, there's nobody else. Shh. You got the Two of Swords. In the current energy, you have the Two of Pentacles. And in the current energy, you got the Emperor. Okay. Let's look at in the immediate future, what is hidden from you. And of course, the hopes and fears. You got the Moon. The Ten of Pentacles. The Strength card. Beautiful. And let's look at the possible outcome. 
the Four Pentacles, and the overall, you got the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords and energy could be you and energy. Okay, it could be that you're very, you have a lot of experience. You're very sharp. You also stand in your uh, in in your integrity in all circumstances. Okay, um, you uh, remain objective during your current uh, situations that you're going through. You stick to the facts, and you when it's needed to speak up, you speak up. And it's about attaining your goals, but it's also about seeing things from a higher perspective. Uh, now, this could be you and energy or someone else, okay? In the situation, you got justice. So something is definitely coming into balance here. There's about This is about fairness, and this is about balancing the karmic scales, the truth. And this is a beautiful energy here, a Libra energy. Uh, what's crossing you is the Queen of Pentacles. It talks about your stability here, okay? Um, this talks about victory, success, being stable, um, you know, maybe th something maybe financially is coming into alignment for you. Uh, this also talks about, uh, you know, generosity, being caring and nurturing. Uh, in the root, you have the Nine of Cups. So there is a message here. There is an invitation or an arrival of someone. Someone here is extending themselves to you. In the recent past till now, in the current energy, you got the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and you got the Emperor. Well, you've been waiting for something here, okay? You've been waiting for something. And again, you see you've got number 22. Um, you've been balancing, you've been juggling. You know, some of you are maybe feeling being pulled in two different directions. But with the emperor energy, whatever this is, is about work, love, whatever this is for you, whatever this commitment is towards you, it could be just your personal goals or whatever. Uh, it's about setting up new rules and new boundaries, and it's about really taking action. Okay, this is the uh, this could be the emperor is the divine masculine coming in. It's about protection. It's about stability, but it's about taking action here. In the immediate future, you got the moon. This is Neptune and Pisces. Well, when the moon card shows up, it talks about illusions, confusion. It talks about uncertainty. There could be fear based energy here. It's about uh, maybe secrets and energy as well. You know something secretive and there's um there's lack of clarity in the situation right because you got the two of swords here um but there's a need to reflect but with the moon card what's also great about it is that the moon eliminate illuminates your journey okay so whatever you're walking into the known you are being guided here with the neptune and uh in pisces and what's sitting from you is the ten of pentacles this is about uh you know, some type of legacy, stability could be again stability, financial success here. Um, yeah, so, so something here is coming in stable for you. And with the strength card, you know, this could be happening. This could be that you have Leo or you have Libra in your chart. If not, it just talks about where, uh, you know, with the strength card that you're able to uh, handle problems and you have the inner strength. This is a beautiful energy here. And in the possible outcome, you've got the four pentacles. Well, you're still holding on to something very tightly here, okay? So we're going to have to see what uh, this means for you. So now we're going to clarify the cards and see what's going on here for you, Aquarius. Let's look at this King of Swords in the overall. I feel like you have the bigger vision here or the bigger picture in a situation with the King of Swords. You see everything. You do have a lot of experience if this is you. Or it could be, like I said, you could be dealing with uh, a Libra energy because I do have Libra. I have Aries and I have Pisces and Leo here. So you've got the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so there is definitely some type of meeting that's going to take place here. Okay, it could be a uh, romance. It could be partnership, whatever it is. Uh, there's some type of attraction with the Two of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. But at the same time, as you are want, it, this is showing up in your energy. With the Nine of Wands, you're very cautious. Okay, your 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 boundaries are up, and but uh, there's you know you're very persistent in what you want, right? Now, if this is about love, there's more work to be done in the situation. But the King of Swords shows up as you attaining your goals. So the Two of Cups is here. There's definitely some type of meeting that's going to be taking place. Now let's look at justice in the situation itself. So let's look at justice. 
You got the Page of Cups. Yeah, definitely there's like a, maybe a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It doesn't have to be a water sign. Uh, but definitely here there is some type of offering that's coming in. This is someone that's sensitive. They're very creative as well. And there's a lot of possibilities with this person. It could also be, uh, it doesn't have to be just about love. It could just be there's, a, there's uh, beginning stages of possibilities or uh, not only possibilities, but opportunities that are coming in for you. Now let's look at the Queen of Pentacles and what's crossing. You got the King of Wands. Well, the King of Wands and energy could be a Sagittarius or Aries. It doesn't have to be the sign, but I do have Aries here. But the King of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, this is about uh, leadership. It's about taking the lead. It's about seeing, uh, taking control. It's about, uh, you know, a vision, okay, like with the King of Swords and energy. Um and it's 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 a it, it's about there's a bigger picture in the situation. So a lot of you are looking at something now with this two of swords, okay? Because there's something you've been waiting for here, okay? Definitely you've been waiting for something. Now let's look at this Knight of Cups because there is a message coming in, okay? And this is a person, okay? This is a person here, whether male or female. This is someone here that listens to their heart, okay? There is some type of invitation or arrival. Uh, someone here is offering a cup. So let's look at this Knight of Cups and energy. You've got the Strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, or this could take place in, in July or uh, August, or even now in the current energy. Okay, look, what else is there? The Queen of Wands, wow. And the Ten of Swords. So there's definitely an ending, okay? Uh, uh, I do feel that there's a, like an ending that took place or something that ran its course from the past year in the root that you're dealing with, okay? This could be friendship, relationships, or just patterns or behaviors, whatever it is. There could have been betrayal or some type of loss, okay? But there was some type of dead end. And the 10 becomes a one. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And this has to do with your confidence. Definitely has to do with your confidence and your determination because there is some type of arrival coming in here and you're able to handle any situation. I have the Queen of Wands, like I said, could be fire. I, I do have water energy here. So yeah, with the Strength card, there's a beautiful blessing that's taking place here for you. Now let's look at the Two of Swords in the recent past till now in the current energy, Aquarius. You got the Ten of Wands. Of course, there's been something in the recent past with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands coming in together, 10-10. There's been something that you've been dealing with, with where, where there was a lot of hard work, there was stress, there was burdens, and there was obstacles. The Ten becomes a One, so something is going to be lifted here. Uh, some of you in the recent past till now, you're taking time out to heal the body, the mind, and the spirit. You're trying to find peace in the situation, and you're also trying to find clarity as well. And it's about following your intuition. So a lot of you maybe in the recent past till now, you're taking time out, okay, to, uh, you know, to, uh, to follow your inner uh, voice and to follow your intuition and your inner guidance here with the High Priestess. Now let's look at the Two of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Um, with the Hierophant energy, okay, this is the North Node. Right now, the North Node is in Taurus. This could be about a Taurus in your life. You could have Taurus in your chart. This could also mean many things. Or This could be about marriage, okay, down the line. Maybe, like, you envision something in the future. With, it's, it's, this is a love reading, and you're meeting someone new right now. There could be potential of marriage down the line, 100%, okay? Uh, but this could also talk about, uh, you know, uh, meeting someone in a social setting. Uh, there's some type of leadership energy here. It's about higher knowing, higher knowledge, belief systems, and someone here that's very traditional. Okay, so there is some type of traditional. I'm going to take extra cards. Okay, again, you've been waiting for something here. And some of you with the Two of Swords energy, you are, you in the current energy, you still have to make difficult choices. But it's also about opening up that heart chakra of yours. And with the Queen of Coins showing up again here, I, it, this talks to me about some type of stability, okay? It's about stability. It's about, uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a generous energy here. There's a caring and nurturing energy with the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And you got her twice in the reading. So I do see stability with this uh, situation here at hand. Um, I see victory and success as well, okay? But it's a, you need to follow your intuition. Now let's look at the Emperor. Emperor. 
The Ace of Coins. Well, definitely there's some type of money coming in or some type of whoever that's coming in and whatever that's taking place here and whether you're whatever that you have to make decisions and what you've been waiting for, there is a new financial opportunity coming in here for you. And if it has to do with money or or uh, work or a business here, but if it's about someone coming in, it's, this person is bringing in luck in with you. Uh, but of course, you're overthinking about this, okay? And you're in your head, you're feeling trapped. Um, maybe also, maybe you're restricting yourself as well because here it shows that with the seven of wands is that you are setting your boundaries and you are facing your challenges every day. You are doing that. I'm going to take another card for the eight of swords and energy. Yeah, justice is coming in. Whatever that was unjust, whatever that was unfair for you, Aquarius, it's coming in as, you know, fairness. And the karmic scales are finally going to balance. You're probably dealing with someone that has Libra in their chart. It could be the rising or their moon in energy. But definitely something is coming into balance for you. You know, now let's look at the moon energy here in what is uh, your, in the immediate future. And maybe at this time what you're feeling and what you are not able to see. Okay, you got the star, beautiful Aquarius, you came into your own reading. This is about following that star. It's about following your wishes come true. There's a sense of hope and optimism that's coming back in your life. Maybe you're feeling happier. You're going to feel healthier. Okay, Aquarian energy. With the king of coins, this is about prosperity. You know, you have the king and queen of coins. This is about two people that are very stable in whatever they want, whether it's business or love or friendship, whatever this is for you. This is about abundance, security, protection. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles here and what's hidden from you. The Two of Coins, the Fool, the Six of Swords. So, yeah, definitely here the Ten of Pentacles is showing up for you. For you. you got the Two of Coins where you're balancing, you're juggling here, and you're making, you're making maybe some financial decisions or just decisions. There's a need to be grounded. Uh, definitely there's a fresh start that's taking place or beginning of a journey. And with the Six of Swords... Um, you're leaving something behind or leaving something behind that was very, you know, with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands energy. And some of you, this could be also, you're moving on. So you're moving on to the next stage here with the Fool card as well. Let's look at the strength and the hopes and fears. You got the Page of Wands. So there's something coming in divine timing here. And also the Page of Wands signifies a, a beginning of a start with the Page of Cups here. Uh, there's there's love, there's a passion, there's creativity here. There's there's a, there's a passion, like I said, uh, and creativity, huh? okay? Um, but it's also like uh, seeing the signs and um, the synchronicities are there. You're feeling it. There's a sense of excitement that's fulfilling you here. And with the Knight of Wands, there, this is definitely like uh, getting things done. Uh, could be, a, you know, you're very, there's a, there's someone here that's free spirited. I mean, it could be you and energy. Uh, someone here that's planning to make a uh, to move a residence could also be. But this is about getting away. Uh, it could be also travel and adventure. And with the eight of coins, whatever that you've been working on here with the eight of pentacles, keep doing it. Okay, you've been putting a lot of energy and dedication to something here, and uh, you've been manifesting at this time. Um, you have all the tools here to manifest your dreams, desires, and you're also praising where you are. So there's a sense of gratitude that's taking place and you're raising your vibration. Nice to see that. Now let's look at the four pen pentacles in the possible outcome here because someone here is still holding on tightly to something. You know, you have the hangman. There's been a sacrifice here or a waiting period where you have to be in this type of energy here. Okay. Um, contemplating with this four of pentacles actually and uh, you know and you've been also like gaining clarity you know there's been uh, maybe rejections uh, boredom uh, in a situation here with the four of cups number 44 is here uh, could have been rejections that you had to go through and uh, well with the temperance energy it just means here that this is all about balance it's about choosing carefully. That's why you're in that uh, hangman position. Okay, uh, you have to find a middle ground, something that needed to be moderated here. Uh, it's really beautiful energy with temperance, okay? And it's also about being patient. Underneath the deck, you've got the six of coins, the eight of wands, 
the Queen of Cups in energy. So yeah, definitely here there's, a, you, you know, you've been very generous at this time, Aquarius. Um, you know, this talks about generosity. It talks about support. Uh, something is coming into balance. You're going to be receiving something. There's going to be quick movement, messages and news coming in. Uh, and this is someone that you're dealing with. This could be you and energy as well. Okay. This is someone here that is very compassionate, warm. They're very kind. They could be very supportive around you at this time. There is many choices that you need to go through. But with the moon card, you know, um, you just have to trend carefully because you don't have all the clarity right now. And so you do have to make a judgment here. When you make that judgment, okay, because this is a higher calling here that's being involved. There's You're going through an awakening and a rebirth. And actually, the collective is. With the world card, it, uh, this is about graduating. So you're graduating to the next level. So congratulations. There's an ending of an important cycle. There's completion here and success and new beginnings for you. So now I'm going to take out a card for you. And I'm going to read to you um, also like your affirmation. Okay, I think this card wants to come out for you, Aquarius. We have your, you are safe. The universe has your back. So I'm just going to look at this for a second. Just, okay. Okay, for this card here, the universe has your back. Uh, your affirmation. And if you want to write it down in the comments below, the more you write it down, the more you bring the, this up to the collective, okay? I am safe to honestly express how I feel. I am safe to open my heart and be vulnerable. Again, I am safe to honestly express how I feel. I am safe to open my heart and be vulnerable. So meditate and visualize being surrounded with light. Imagine the universe giving you a big hug. Visualize how it would feel to be completely physically and emotionally safe. And figure out what boundaries you have put up for what reason and are they worth having a closed heart. The universe wants you to know that you are completely safe in its arms. You are protected. Let go of worries and anxiety. Know that you are safe at all times under the divine protection of the universe. You are Safe to act honestly and express what is on your mind. You are safe to experience life at its fullest and you are safe to receive. Relax your barriers and let go of the boundaries you have put up in order to protect yourself. Don't close your heart for the sake of protection. A closed heart is worse than being vulnerable. There is beauty in vulnerability. Allow yourself to feel relaxed. You are safe in this, you are safe in this universe and this world isn't as scary as it seems. So you are safe and the universe has your back. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, together we are one. Together we are love. Together we are light. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>